Okay, so continue tayo dito. So, bali sa previous na video, pinagita ko na yung figure niya. Ito yung itsura niya. So, solve na natin yung linear error of closure. And page. Solution. So, meron ako dito. Kopyahin ko lang muna ito. Copy. And paste it here. So, kunin ko lang yung ano niya. Yung ano yung tawag dyan. Nagrupo ko lang. Para makompress ko. Okay na yan. So, ngayon kunin ko yung uh, latitude. Yung latitude is just yung distance. Di ba? Latitude eh. Distance, cosine. Di ba? Kung babalikan natin yung formula. So, yung latitude is just distance, cosine, bearing. And yung departure is just distance, sine, bearing. So, yun yung gagamitin natin. Distance, cosine, the bearing. Kunin ko muna yan. So, this is uh, 410 cosine 45 degrees 20 minutes so this is uh, ilan to kumbitin ko muna uh, 410 cosine 45 degrees and 20 minutes that is 288.22 so this one is positive 288.22 uh, kunin ko na lang din diretso yung, ano, yung departure so that is just distance sign bearing so we have 410 sign 45 20 minutes so palitan ko lang to ng sign sign so I have 291.6 so positive 291.6 next uh, 605 605 cosine 65 degrees and 10 minutes so ilan yan 605 cosine 65 degrees and 10 minutes so that is 254.09 Okay So We have 254.09 Okay, kung titignan mo yan dito na May ako na So, pag north, di ba? Yung dito. Now, pag north, positive. Pag south, negative. Pag a, uh, s, positive. Pag west, negative. So, may kita natin dito na sa, na sa north. So, positive siya. Latitude eh. No? And then, sa s is also positive. So, positive yan. And then, dito, south na eh. So, minus na yan. Okay? So, lagyan mo na ng sign. Okay, so continue tayo. Ngayon dito yung 605 sine 65 degrees and 10 minutes. So, palitan ko lang ito ng sine. So, that is 549.06. And take note, uh, naka S yan. So, ibig sabihin yung sine niya is positive, no? Kasi positive daw. Ito positive din, ito negative. Next. Uh, we have 600 cosine ng bearing na 80 degrees and 15 minutes. Okay? So, ilan yan? So, we have 600 cosine of 80 degrees and 15 minutes. 
So therefore, yung sagot nyo yun is 101.61. So take note, this is north. So it is taken as positive. So it must be positive. And then next is we have 600 sine 80 degrees and 15 minutes. So therefore, palitan ko lang ito ng sine. Sign. So I have 591.33 And take note this is oh, Naka west so minus yan no? So dagdagan mo lang ng sign na minus Okay so you have plus plus minus plus plus and minus Next So 280 Cosine 55 degrees 30 minutes uh, Ilan yan? 280 cosine of 55 degrees and 30 minutes So that is uh, 158.593 So let's see 5.9 na lang So take note this is south So this is taken as negative So dapat ito is negative And then Palitan lang natin yung cosine by sine of 55 degrees and 30 minutes. So, therefore, yung sagot nito, palitan ko lang ito ng sine. So, this is 230.76. Okay, so makikita mo dito na naka-west yan. So, taken as negative. So, okay na yung sine and also with the magnitude nung nga na natin. Okay? So, pwede na natin kunin yung uh, summation ng uh, latitude. So, ilan yung positive 288.28 minus 254.09 plus 101.61 minus 158.59 So, kumpitin ko muna. Uh, 288.22 minus 254.09 plus 101.61 minus 158.59. So, we have negative 22.85. Okay? So, klaro yan. No? So, kunin ko din yung summation ng absolute ng latitude kasi gagamitin ko to sa transit mamaya. So, ilan yung 288 neglecting sign no? so plus 254.09 plus 101.61 plus 158.59 so tanggalin ko lang yung sign plus ko lang lahat plus ko na lang to lahat okay so this is 802.51 okay so we have negative 22.85 and 802.51 Next is yung sa departure. Okay, so considering yung sign, so I have positive 291.6 plus 549.06 minus 591.33 minus 230.76. So we have 291.6 plus 549.06 minus 591.33 and minus 230.76 so we have positive uh, 18.57 and then kunin natin yung absolute nung departure so bali neglecting sign so we have 291.6 plus 549.06 plus 591.33 plus 230.76 so therefore palitan ko lang ito ng plus yung minus so this is 1662.75 okay so nakuha na natin yung mga value na yan no? yan yung kailangan ko uh, kunin ko na lang din yung summation ng distance So, ilan yung 410 plus 605, yung distance. 
plus 600 plus 280. Kailangan ko to sa compass rule. Mamaya, no? So, kunin ko na lang yan. 410 plus 605 plus 600 and plus 280. This is 1895 meters. So, I think okay na ako dito. No? So, set up ko na ito lahat. Next. So, ngayon, may kita natin na uh, yung error. It's just a mission nung uh, departure. And then, yung error in latitude is just a mission nung latitude. Okay. So, sa departure, meron tayong uh, 18.57. Positive 18.57. And dito is negative uh, 22.85. So, 22.85. So, thus, makukuha natin yung linear error of Lucian. That is just square root lang nung error in departure squared and error in latitude squared. So, this is square root lang nung uh, 18.57 squared and negative 22.85 squared. So, 87 squared. So, yung linear error of Lucian is just, uh, computing ko muna. So, I have 18.57 squared plus 22.85 squared. So, matatanggal man din yung negative. So, this is 29.44 44 meters. So, ito na yung sagot. So, yan yung sagot for problem A. Ano yung value nung linear error of closure? And ano naman daw yung relative error? So, relative error. So, yung formula niya for relative error is just uh, linear error of closure all over yung perimeter. Okay? So, we have 29.44 all over yung uh, distance. Ito yung perimeter. 1895. 1895. Ito yan. Perimeter yan. So, ilan yan? So, we have 29.44 divided by 1895. So, we have a relative error of 0 0.015536. Okay? So, meter per meter length of... Ito yan, meter to automate. So, meter per meter length of traverse. Ito naman yung so, dimensionless eh. No? Kasi makakancel out yung meter. Okay. So, continue na lang tayo sa next na video for the compass rule and transit rule. See you in the next video. Thank you.